let's get started. Without his flying Nimbus, Goku takes a plane to the far north. Suddenly, the robot pilot freezes solid, sending the plane downward. Near death, Goku is saved by Suno, a girl from a nearby village. To repay her, he promises to save the kidnapped village mayor from General White inside the Muscle Tower. Hello everyone and welcome to part 3 of the uh, Dragon Ball Revenge King Piccolo playthrough and I got myself a guest commentator so uh, it's Justin. <laughs> yeah, what's up? I was going to say introduce I mean, yourself, I mean, but... I think you might rem uh, remember me from other of Adam's videos like I was in his Pokemon Red and um, we did a YouTube channel together like a, a three man com and Adam and I did like a two man com actually it was originally a four man com and I then think three that man com. Was six. <laughs> oh yeah, it's true. It was originally six, then four, <laughs> then three, and then, then, two. <laughs> then three, then two. And I guess Adam and I were the only ones who just stuck it out. Yeah. And now I just find myself like not so like out of the YouTube, like like out of it being interested in doing com. It's just like not really my thing at the moment. Like I'm just trying to get into streaming. Current as of now, but. Uh. But yeah. Here we're at the the muscle tower stuff where we got to the ice place. I don't even. Remember. I think it, it might be just snow village or ice village or something like that. But um, yeah, this part's pretty much going to be doing that. Uh, the reason why I obviously brought the guest was because it's kind of dull. Not much story. Not much boss fights. It's most of the stuff we've already seen. Um, but yeah, uh, as normal as normalcy goes, I usually ask the questions. Um, which we kind of did a little before just to get a, a taste. Um, but yeah, Justin's never played this game before, which I'm not very surprised because, like I said, this game's kind of a hidden, not really gem, but uh, just hidden. <laughs> it's an okay game. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't really played too many Dragon Ball games. As far as Dragon Ball Z though games, though, I've played like most of them. But Dragon Ball is a standalone. I haven't played too many, just the one on the Advance, but... I never yeah. even knew this game existed, to be honest. Yeah, and what was yeah. that for? Yeah. What was uh, that death for? I fell through the thing. I fuck, I fuck up a lot on platforming. And that. If I ever... I don't think I ever get a game over yet. <laughs> I say yet. Uh, but if I this do, looks, it'll probably be yeah. because of the platforming. What were you going to say? This looks kind of interesting, though, because it's like a platformer. Like, it looks it looks interesting. That doesn't yeah. look too bad. It's a, it's a 2D... Well, kind of 2D.5, because it's not really 2D, kind of... But you know you progress 2D, but it's a beat 'em up. It's pretty much if they did the Advanced Adventure games on Game Boy Advance in 3D, this is pretty much it. Yep, that's what it looks like. Um, but yeah, it's it's a nice game in its own right. Uh, it's a little kind of um, bare, like the combat is kind of just one button really. And then yeah, that's what it seems like. You only really play as Goku. Well, I mean that's all beat 'em ups though, to be honest. Yeah. Any other beat it, beat 'em ups I've actually like tried, I suck at like, uh, what what's it called? Like, uh, I've seen, f I think Final Fight might be one. I don't even know. It might be just a fighting game, but Dynasty Warriors. Uh, Dynasty Warriors is ha like hack and slash, but oh, hack and slash. Okay, yeah, like, beat 'em up. Like like um, like have you ever played those Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle games on I think maybe SNES or Super Nintendo or um Nintendo? No. Like I think those are beat 'em ups. Uh, the GT game on a uh, Game Boy was a beat 'em up too. Okay, like that yeah. Was, that was more of a traditional beat 'em up, and I always suck at those. Like I remember, I think I tried to play maybe a Spider-Man one. I can't even remember. But I, oh I yeah, just, that that I game was hard as shit. I know which one you're talking about. One on the Game Boy Color. I don't even. Oh, uh, I know there was one for the original Game Boy that was like retarded, but yeah, it's kind of like that. Like where you just like move progress to the um, stage and then you just kind of oh yeah okay I know I know what you're talking about yeah I I suck at those games but this game's pretty pretty chill it's not too bad but yeah um I guess some of the questions I could ask uh, about like you know what what are your what do you think about Dragon Ball or what do you know about it and I, you said you didn't know I can't recall too much 
Yeah, I can't recall too much because I watched Dragon Ball like really, really young, and it like was never really in order. I didn't really watch <laughs> it like episode episode. So it's like I liked Dragon Ball, but Dragon Ball, I'm pretty sure how it went was Dragon Ball Z came out first, and while Dragon Ball Z was like coming out, they started making they started like releasing Dragon Ball in like America. Yeah. Like while while Dragon Ball Z was like still going. Oh, I got fucking crushed. I don't know if that I don't know if that like rings a bell or anything like that, yeah, but like yeah. Dragon I Ball. Think, I think that might have actually been how it was. I am not 100 percent sure. That's that's like remember. that's how I remember it. That's how I remember watching it at least, or maybe it was reruns I was watching. But I remember like Dragon Ball airing like while Dragon Ball Z was out, and I can't even honestly remember like what channel Dragon Ball was on. I don't know if it was like one of the, like the Saturday or the Sunday morning like cartoons or whatever on. Whatever that I, station was called, WBS. I know, no, it, was on, it was on Cartoon Network, I think. I, I don't know if it was around the Toonami block, probably, if I were to guess, but... I'm not sure. Well, cause I know, I know Dragon Ball Z was. Yeah, my, my experience from Dragon Ball didn't come from TV at all. I never watched it on TV. I watched it when I got all those box sets for that one Christmas, like, like a, I don't know, I don't know two, two or three years ago. That's how I watched it. Oh, okay. It. Yeah, it wasn't until actually recent, which... It's kind of just, that's really how almost every Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z fan, they watch Dragon Ball Z first, and then they watch Dragon Ball if they were curious enough to, you know? Yeah, no, Dragon Ball is definitely interesting, and it's definitely something I want to watch again, but it's just, like, there's so many, like, random characters who just, like, aren't even, like, progressive to the main story that... I mean, it's cool to see, though, like, Goku as a kid. Yeah. And, like, everyone, like, young, like, Yamcha, friggin' sleeping in deserts and stuff. Yeah. And, like, everyone actually be kind of useful rather than just yeah. like, Goku and Vegeta. Like, Yamcha's, Yamcha and Tien are, like, OP as shit. Like, Tien's, like, the best character, in, which I thought yeah. was hilarious. Yeah. He's, like, the best character in Dragon Ball, and then in Dragon Ball Z, he does absolutely nothing ever. Yeah. <laughs> and then we got we got this asshole, I forget his name, he's just one of the Red Ribbon androids. It's pretty Italian. Simple. Italian. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's part of the Mafia. You just you just dodge, uh, just pretty much dodge him, and then just like like usual, try to break their barriers, which is that aura stuff around him, and then just yeah. on him, maybe do a kamehameha here and there, and he's pretty. Okay. Simple. I like I like to explain some strategies just in case. Just in case. Okay. Understandable. <laughs> but yeah, if I if I were to say like in terms of like the quality of Dragon Ball versus Dragon Ball Z, I'd say well Dragon Ball Z is obviously just more. It's more nostalgic for me, and um, I, don't, I, I like it better just because, I, I guess, action, really. But I would say Dragon Ball, well, it's obviously more funnier, and I would say it's more of a traditional, like, anime-ish. Like, compared to other animes, you know, it's kind of like just watching another anime, you know? Yeah. So, a Dragon okay. Ball, like, Dragon Ball Z would be a show that pretty much anyone could get into. Like, you know, you were showing it to your girlfriend not too long ago. Um, yeah. Whereas Dragon Ball is something I think anime fans. You have to be fans, a fan of the series. Yeah, you have to be kind of a fan of the genre. You know, so. Not only that, you have to be a fan of Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. To kind of appreciate it more. Yeah, definitely. But yeah, that was that was that that was that level. It was pretty. Like I said, it was dull, which is why I brought you in because it, it was kind. Well, for a level, it's long, but same time, this part is short because that was that. Um, Seems like it. But yeah, uh, thanks thanks for being on the show again, the part. Always. Uh, I might bring you along later if need be, we'll see. Uh, Definitely. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in uh, part four. Take care. Peace.